Hello, Capricorn. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know at this current moment? What is Capricorn needing to know at this current moment? Okay, the Hermit. The Six of Pentacles. Someone here is doing some self-reflection here. Whether they're considering giving to a situation or why they didn't give to one situation over the other. Let's see. Someone is definitely wondering why or if they should have given to another situation over the other or chosen another person over the other. Yeah, the Hierophant, the Fool. I definitely am getting someone committed to either another person or another situation when there was another opportunity being presented to them, but they chose something else instead. And now they feel like this was a mistake. They want to start all over again. So someone is definitely doing some self-reflection, kind of like wondering why did they make that decision? Someone could have got married to someone and they're like, why did I marry that person? You know, they're now living with regrets. They want to start over. They want to do over here. Let's see. What is this about? Let me get a little bit more about this. What is this about? Why is this significant to Capricorn? Why is this significant to Capricorn? Three of Swords. Yeah. This is you, Sagittarius, or some of y'all are dealing with Sagittarius. I just said Sagittarius, so excuse me, Capricorn. I'm definitely talking to a Capricorn who is dealing with heartbreak. You were placed in a third party situation and it looks like quite possibly you were not the person that was chosen. If this is the case, the person that did not choose you is definitely living with a lot of regrets and they realize that you were the person that they should have chosen. What I'm getting is that this person definitely loved you more but their love for you kind of scared them versus the way they felt towards the other person. It was more just like, like they didn't feel as deep of emotions towards the other person as they felt towards you. So it's kind of scary when you have like deep love towards another person, because if that person was to hurt you, then it's going to hurt more than if you were to date someone you didn't really like that much. You weren't in love with that person. But if you're actually in love with someone, and if that person hurts you, it's going to hurt. So I'm getting like this is what this person did. Is that like there was two people here. And they went for the easier option. The one that they felt like if they were to hurt them, it wouldn't really hurt. They'd be able to get over it. They'll be able to recover. But they looked at you like if you were to hurt them, they wouldn't be able, be able to recover from this. Because you have their heart. And so, but now they're sitting up here and doing some self-reflection. And wondering why did I do that? I know I really love Capricorn. I set up here, I chose the wrong person. Why did I do that? So they're having to do some self-reflection here. Meanwhile, you're being guided to focus on your healing with the star energy. I'm definitely getting like everything is just falling right into place or it will be falling right into place for you. You'll definitely be picking up the pieces here shortly. The thing is, Capricorn, you weren't meant to be with this person. That's why they chose someone else over you. That's why they did it. They don't understand why they did it. You know, they're starting to wonder why. I mean, really what it was, they definitely had a deeper love for you. But the true, the true reason why they didn't choose you is because they were actually guided not to because you actually have someone better. All right, let's see. What's the current blockage or challenge for Capricorn at this time? What's the current blockage or uh, challenge for Capricorn that they need to be aware of for their highest purpose? challenge or blockage king of pentacles and the magician the king of pentacles and the magician should not be a challenge unless what you're manifesting is not going to truly benefit you or you're manifesting it for the wrong reasons the king of pentacles talks about accomplishing a major goal here and quite possibly uh, capricorn you can find yourself manifesting a goal here only to find out that it wasn't worth a damn 
because you were manifesting it for all the wrong reasons. So they're wanting you to be more mindful of what you're out actually manifesting and ask yourself, why do I want to manifest this? Why, why is it? If you can't answer the why, then you need to rethink about uh, manifesting it just in general. Let's see, what's the energy coming towards Capricorn? What's the energy coming towards Capricorn? Yeah, Capricorn, because I'm getting that, like, quite possibly you are focused on manifesting something, but your reasons for manifesting it is just material gains. There's nothing else, like, really that you're looking, you're looking at that you'll gain from it. And they want you to reconsider manifesting it because you're, you'll end up manifesting it. And then once, once it's there, you're going to be like, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, it's, it's not going to make you happy. It's not going to benefit you in, in, in any other way other than financially. And that's not going to be enough for you. What's the energy coming towards Capricorn? What's the energy coming towards Capricorn? Nine of Swords. Knight of Swords. Let me clarify this. Why the Nine of Swords? Why the nine of swords? Page of wands. Let me get one more for knight of swords. Because there's two opposing energies here. Give me one second. Because if it's the storyline that I'm getting, let me clarify this knight of wands. I'm like, oh Lord, why does this always happen? Let me clarify. Capricorn. The Capricorn that I'm talking to. This, I'm getting that it's definitely this person. Someone new is going to come into your life and spark your interest. Leaving this past person with deep regrets. Triggering them to charge in your direction. There's this glow up taking place in your energy. Finances are going well. You're looking very good, feeling extremely confident about yourself and taking very good care of yourself. And it's being noticed by several people, including this person in the past. This person that was playing games and will continue to play games as well if you were to fall for it. I don't see you falling for it. I definitely am getting someone new sparking your interest in this person, thinking that they can come back and seize the moment here sweep you off your feet but it's not going to work the empress is well seated you can't swoop her off her feet so and she's definitely not going to settle for anyone it's like by the time this person comes back towards you you've outgrown this situation you've outgrown it let's see who is coming towards Capricorn and love? Who is uh, coming towards Capricorn and love? Is is this person from the past? It's not even letting me dive into this uh, new energy that's coming towards you. Yes, I am getting that there's someone new that's going to come into your life and spark your interest. There's a lot of excitement around this new person. But the person that's coming towards you before this new person is a person from the past. They're grieving the loss of this relationship. It's hard for them to focus on the love that's right in front of them because they're too busy crying over what they lost. The same person that was playing games, Capricorn. They may see you receiving a lot of attention and it's triggering jealousy within this person. What advice is there for Capricorn? What is the advice for Capricorn at this time? Ace of Cups, Page of Swords. Capricorn, I'm getting that they're advising you because I definitely am getting this person from the past is going to come forward and offer you their love. And they may come forward and say everything that you've been wanting them to say, do everything that you've been wanting them to do. And they're telling you when this takes place, be very blunt and direct. Make sure that you're looking into this situation, that you're just not accepting whatever is being tossed your way. Look deeper into this situation and be very blunt and direct about your needs and what you expect. 
out of a relationship out of this person and watch watch their uh their attitude towards you change the moment you're blunt and direct with this person about what you truly want what you're looking for in a relationship all this lovey-dovey crap is going to go out the window their whole attitude towards you is going to switch up it's going to change and you're going to see who they truly are and it's going to be the same person that you saw in the past so I definitely am getting like, they're going to come back and try to swoop you up, make you fall for them, push you under their spell, their charm spell. Be mindful. Tell this person what you want because the person that you're meant to be with, you can tell them what, what you want and they're not going to get upset about it. They're going to want to give it to you because they love you. They want to see you happy. This person don't care. They want themselves to be happy. They want themselves to be happy. They're not coming after you because they want you to be happy. This person wants their cake and eat it too. Let's see. Any further advice for Capricorn? Any further advice for Capricorn? Some of y'all may also... Another side note that I'm getting with this as well is some of y'all may also have a child that's like really slick with their tongue. They have a tendency to say a lot of disrespectful and... Uh, well, things that you would uh, perceive as being disrespectful. They have a tendency to just say things that can be extremely hurtful. And I'm getting that you have a tendency... Really, they learned it from you. I know some of y'all are not going to like you don't want to hear that but really they learned it from you and if you were to change up your approach with this child instead of like when they're talking to you and you feel like it's disrespectful if you were to like switch it up and like present them with love instead of you know more hurtful words and exchange there will be a shift in the energy in the relationship between you and this child but again it's not going to happen over or not again. I'm sorry, but it's not going to happen overnight. This is something that's going to take time. This is something that you're learning to do and you have to teach this child to do because you taught them to say these things or you taught them to be this way. They really learned it from you is what I'm getting. So until you show them a different way, they're going to keep giving you back, giving you exactly what you're giving them or what you've been giving them. I got to put this back because I don't remember what I was asking. I think, what is the final advice for Capricorn? What is the final advice for Capricorn? Three of Wands. Get out of your head, Capricorn. You have growth and uh, success here. Growth and expansion. Some of y'all will be traveling a lot. But you're all in your head about this. You're all in your head about like the new things like growing and expanding. It's like some of y'all are right on the edge of something major here. But then it's like the closer you get to it, you start talking yourself out of something here. And it's like, what the hell are y'all doing? Well, you like you're right there. You're right there. But then you're talking yourself. It's like you're. If you see like they're ready to go, but then in this, and this is all in your mind. In this one, their eyes are blinded, their hands are tied. There's like nothing that they can do, or at least that they've convinced themselves that they can do. And it's like, what do you mean? You've made it this far. What? <laughs> you're right there. So whoever this is for, if you, you're trying to talk or you've been talking yourself into giving up on something, don't do it continue to push through you're right there like it's now it's not the time to give up on something now now it's not the time to convince yourself that you're not capable of doing something here i'm not sure exactly what that is all right let me see what else final message for capricorn final message for capricorn Ten of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. All your hard work is definitely not in vain. I definitely am getting like some of y'all are feeling overwhelmed. Right now, you have a lot on your plate, a lot of responsibilities here. You have a financial blessing coming in. One that's going to offer you a lot of stability or more stability than, than you've had. So it definitely is like whether it's a promotion, a raise, something here. And it's an increase in your finances that's coming in. So I'm getting like someone here is basically saying you got more bills uh, coming in then you have money coming in so 
some of y'all are like overwhelmed and debt you have a lot of expenses here and you just can't keep up with it it's to the point where it's overburdening you that is about to change there is an increase in your finances that is coming in okay whatever you've been doing or something here is someone is receiving a financial blessing here to help relieve you of this burden i am going to leave it there these are the messages that came through for you guys at this time please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates with that being said you all take care